So today we are just doing a quick vlog on me trying to make progress in that kitchen that I had just assumed I would have been done with by now. <laughs> Any DIYer knows sometimes things get away from you and the winter just sucked the life out of me, not to mention all the busyness that, you know, regular life is. So here I am just trying to catch up, make some drawer fronts for my bottom cabinets and I am still using that rough plywood um, we'll see if these are rough drafts or projects and you know I will hopefully become a better woodworker for it you know sometimes it's the talent not the tools but the old t uh, table saw I had was just not not well calibrated it, it was just old and needed to go so my postman was very happy to take it from me he actually uh, was delivering mail when he saw it was for free he just put it in his mail uh, van and took it with him so good karma hopefully anyway enjoy the vlog guys trying to be perfect I'm just trying to get a face on here so I can make sure these are the right size spacing and if this has to be recentered that's fine too I'm not trying too hard to make this perfect I just want to make it accessible okay. moment of truth I don't expect this to be a perfect, never in my life have I ever gotten anything right the first time. So they should be pretty close. I assume I'm going to have to shave off little bits from the sides and probably even from here because I wanted to go a little bigger than I needed to make sure I had room because nothing is worse than cutting it to size and it's too small and you can't take any off. So if it's too big, then I'm still in a good place. I mean, honestly, we are nowhere near close to being perfect. There's definitely some pronation here where this sits back further than this one. Uh, I'll figure out why that's doing that. But surprisingly, the gap looks good here. It all feels good down here. And now I should be able to stack like a shim or something here to then put the next ones on. But this is amazing and you can you can't probably see it from there but there's a bigger gap here than there is here and I mean I could do something to that effect and now it's perfect I have to just make sure that the tops are uh, level but I mean weirdly enough 
I would almost call this a win. Does that sound funny? Dang. Happy about that. Right, let's talk through issues already, which I knew would happen. So like I said, I started from the, well, I didn't say this, but I started from the bottom so that I would be fine. And I measured from here to the middle. Okay, makes sense. However, what I forgot was this is edge banded. So this isn't full width here. This, you know, if I bent this back, you would see where it stops. So what that does is come here. You see that? So to line this up with the right spot, you can kind of see it there. This edge banding is still there. So I have mounted my super bottom drawer probably at least a quarter of an inch off. And then, so now you can see how these meet in the middle pretty much, but this one is so much further over. And then of course, if I mount this one, it'll be further over still. So what I probably should do is just take off, you know, whatever I need right here, that quarter of an inch so that I get the middle. And so that I don't have to remount this, this one, um, probably what I should just do is take the sliver off this side again so that I'm not re, re reaching because I'm trying to pay attention to the middle of the drawer. But again, it's not really the middle if it's over one way or the other by a quarter of an inch. So they're a little offset right now, but that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this super raw so that I can figure out where my mistakes are. I can write them down and I can fix them. That's how you learn. First, I want to say this is probably my true second attempt at drawer faces and they are terrible, but they are probably 100% better than the originals that I've ever done from my bathroom vanity several years back. So you can immediately already see without even having to be up close uh, gap unevenness and such, but the cabinets are so, I mean, nothing in my house is level. So this makes this that much harder. If I cut these pieces exactly the same, which I did, they still will end up looking like this. So right now, I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing wrong so I can correct it the next go around. But I'm not mad. I mean, I have drawer faces. And if I painted this the color I'm looking for, the chocolate color, even less from the far, you're gonna see these problems. But <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix them so again, they've been all cut pretty much the same, but if you look this way, can you see how that goes down? So it's most likely the cabinet that is not plumb versus these guys who I was very particular about how I line them up, at least on this, this side. This side is, is a little bit more janky, but uh, again, I've got places I can shim and not shim but uh sand down and refine this one is the worst as you can see really off but again working on it these are just well they're not meant to be temporary meant to be sanded and painted but if they have to be my first draft then that's what they'll be my first draft by the way i don't know if i mentioned it but these two corners, I think I'm going to leave open because their openings are so small that the doors, while well, they would look fine, I think it would look crowded. So I'm going to let those be open spaces and put things in them. Open space, I mentioned before, open space. And I'm rethinking these doors to have some sort of clear insert, whether it's a reeded glass, frosted glass, acrylic, whatever. I've got to figure out what the right option is so that they're see-through mostly looking and it'll probably feel more open as well because I don't mind this but I think having this having those uh, glass inserts will make that feel more open and cohesive as well.